So why is it you put things that you are supposed to put on number two or number one? You are rushing to put makeups. You buy them from Dubai. But how, may, how, how, how many have strong marriages? Which wedding is it given you? But we tell you give tithes to get blessing. You, you run to get a makeup. And that makeup gets cased by God and it becomes a mess up. It starts to chase away men because it's tight money. So when you smile, men run away from you. Why? Because that makeup is from your tight. Ask a woman next to you, how much was the weave in your head today? And how much offering are you giving today? Hello? Do we want God to bless us? If you want God to bless you, wave your hands. Hallelujah. Now we want to pray. We want to break this demon from our systems. You must give until there is no more pain in your body. Now look at me. Look at me very well. Whenever you want to give something and you feel pain, it's a sign that you must give that thing. Because that pain is a sign you, are, you have stepped on the poverty line of your blood. So you need to push on from that line. Then you will not feel pain again on that level. Next time when you give again, because there are some people, once they release five dollars to God, they will not sleep that day. They will be rolling in their bed. <sighs> what did I do today? <sighs> what did I do today? <sighs> Five dollars. <sighs> Five dollars. <sighs> it's a level. You must pass it. Some ten dollars. They will not sleep. Some twenty dollars. The pain which they will feel. They will say I will not do it again. It's your blood that is complaining that you are now going to prosper now. Because the demons, they want to push you so that you don't prosper in life. So Africa, let's remove this pain. You know, when we first gave our car with my wife, my Jesus, the pain which we felt, it was unbearable. I remember when God spoke to us to give our first mark to our car. <sighs> 2 a.m. before we gave, I was awake. The mark 2 is now going. Hey, because I remember for sure when I had to go to buy that car in Deben, my mother I always tell you had to, to give me a small shot and she put money inside. She took a thread and sold that money. Said, look for the bathroom, my son. So that man is not stolen. If they pull out guns, you just lift. And because the money, I put it, because my mother used to go to South Africa, I put it in a way that no one I know, they will not know. You just lift your hand and say, search, search. So I had, when I got a prize, a car that I wanted, I had to look for a bathroom to go and deal with a razor and remove all the to bring that car. Then God says, give it. Ah! I slept at the border trying to clear that car. And I had to pray to get a good price uh, of customs so that I clear that car. And I was walking all these years 
Hmm? Abraham, you had no child all these years. Then you get Isaac and God says, I want your Isaac. Your one and only. God always wants your Isaac. No matter how hard it was for you to end that Isaac. That is proper giving. I 2 a.m. No sleep. Pain was in my heart. I thought I was the only one. I checked next to me. <laughs> ah! When uh, also you are awake. <laughs> and my wife says, uh, you are also awake. <laughs> I am shocked. And I said, why are you awake? And she said, why are you awake? <laughs> I said, my wife, God has spoken that we give this car. She said, I was also afraid to tell you, God spoke to me to give this car. So I said, oh, so he spoke to all of, to both of us. And then we joined hands and agreed and we slept. To go with that car. The next day, we woke up when we agreed. Robbers had stolen the battery for the first time. Broken the window. Whenever you are now about to give something, now look at me, all of you. Some motor Zamuru driver, those cars that you are driving, they are spiritual. They are not physical like what you are seeing. Try to give that car. That's when you see that it can speak. <laughs> you will be shocked. The engine, things just start to go haywire. You have to drag your Isaac to the mountain. Because it's not an easy thing. With my wife, we had to put a plastic which was being uh, removed by the wind on the highway and would stop the car, take it again and put it with the cello tape. And I drive. Even my X5, when I was giving it, it, discovered, it, it developed a problem. I had to call some mechanics from here. Um, X5, that was in good condition. The water tank just burst. Even the mechanics came and said, no, we have never seen such a thing. A BMW you can never have. It's a tank burst. This water tank, it's solid. It's our first time. They fixed it, brought a, br a new one. Next day, when we arrived at the service station in Gweru, about to go, the mechanic the, those guys who put fuel, they said, can we test your oil? Can we see whether there is oil? They checked. There was no oil, no oil in the car. Absolutely dry. We checked underneath nothing. Was there a liquor somewhere? Where did the oil go? And they did put oil. When we were going, it started developing a sound. I said, my wife, no more calling mechanics. Now let's pray. I said, you, I am taking you. I, you must listen to me now. I'm going to give you whether you like it or not. In the name of Jesus. When we gave that car to Archbishop, next day he phoned me and said, Chesa, you were saying your car has noise. I said, yes. He said, am I saying, did you hear very well? I said, yes. He said, it's perfect. Because it had arrived where it was supposed to go. Your money, some of the reason why it makes you to be pained inside, it doesn't want to come into the basket. Bring it into the offering basket. Bring it onto the altar. Drag the offering. Drag the money. Now hear me very well. Whenever a man of God is preaching about this, and you feel annoyed, and you feel pain, it's a sign you are not yet free and delivered from the spirit of poverty. Yeah. How do you know in a church that you still have got poverty? When a message of giving and prosperity and tithes is being given, and you feel like, I want to live now. Yeah. What is he talking about? Yeah. <sighs> that is a demon. <laughs> you talk too much. Preach other messages. Hmm? Can't you preach about love and delivery? <laughs> money, money, money. No, it's not you. It's the demon, the oppression yeah. of poverty. That is it. Yeah. 
when a man of God is preaching about giving and you feel joy, you are now free. Hallelujah. Now, when I give now, it's like I'm giving $20, even a car. I, release, I can release a car like I'm releasing $10. Why? Because I broke that line by force, by giving. Giving, giving big, giving big. You must be delivered. Can we stand?